Good morning, everybody! It is Sunday, and I am just got done with church, and I'm going for a little stroll, a little drive in the mountains. Well, we only have mountains here in Boise. As close as we can get. I'm driving through what's called Hidden Springs. It's basically a town that's kind of like hidden up in the foothills of the Treasure Valley here. It's kind of crazy because most people don't know this is up here, but there is a whole town up here hidden behind view of when you're down in the valley. They have a grocery store, fire department, they have a school, they have everything. You don't know it's here until you've been up here. It's just, it's, And they're like nice houses too. Anyway, so I take a drive up here occasionally because one, it's a windy road. It's a very long and windy road, which is always a fun drive. And um, you know, it's it's scenery. And right now it's kind of crappy because as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty cloudy out. But you know, on a nice day, it is very beautiful up here to get away from the hustle and bustle of downtown in that area. Well, it's just a good place to go and uh, chill out before the school craziness starts next week. Yeah, a lot of times there's a lot of wildlife up here you'll see. A lot of deer, rabbits, and whatnot. I'm actually gonna go to a place that you may or may not remember. Uh, those of you who've been watching me long enough will recognize this place. Okay, so some of you who've been watching me long enough might recognize the area down there. It's a house here in Hidden Springs that I used to um, house sit for. And I lived in a little side house from it. And uh, there's a few vlogs from there you can go back and watch those but uh, I really enjoyed living out here because there's nothing out here it's it's nice there's it's quiet at night you know this house I was staying at has like huge fields and the guy was living in some other state and was trying to sell it so he needs someone to watch the property and so that's what I did and I very much enjoyed that I kind of miss it though it was a lot of fun but I just driving down here to, to see it you know I come check by occasionally just to see what's different up in this area although they painted it last time it was a uh... It was a crazy green, but uh, yeah, the white looks nice. It's just a nice area up here, so I thought I'd drive down here and check it out. The biggest, the biggest <laughs> animals I remember seeing when I lived down here, or up here, yeah, uh, were quails. Quails out the wazoo. I mean, you can see some of my videos where there's a, one time when I moved into the house, there was a cat. Okay, this cat that was hanging out, like, just want to say hello. Yeah, one morning, brought me a dead quail. I'm like, well, thank you. Thank you for the greeting and the welcome. I'm going to accept this gift and by putting it in the trash because I don't want it. But it's like, oh, thank you, cat. Thank you for the dead quail. Very much appreciated. And that kind of gives you an upper view of that's the entire um, Hidden Springs right down there. My GPS is kind of old. It hasn't been updated. So right now it says I'm going just off road. This road's a dead end. It goes in circles. Woo, circles. Ah, ah, I'm getting dizzy. Oh. And here's what I'm talking about. Within a short drive of the day, you're out of suburbs, you're out of the city, and you are just driving up in the foothills, and it is... It is nice. Something I did notice this whole area up here apparently got burned. Whoa, that's one up there is super green. This is crazy. I've made up to the to the end of this windy road. Private property, all the rest up here, so. And uh, now we head down. Everybody, hands up, it's roller coaster time. Wee, wee, hands up, wee. Don't worry, I still have a hand on the steering wheel. No worries, no worries. I don't like these blind corners because someone could be coming around uh, the round the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Mm, it's lunch time, making my lunch. Big bowl of water. No, I'm actually making top ramen. Mm. If ever there was the most stereotypical food item you could make as a college student, it would be top ramen. But it is very good. Actually, I'm only eating it because I can't find anything else to eat. But I'm sure there's plenty of other things to eat, but I'm actually really lazy and don't want to prepare anything. So, wow, that's even more stereotypical college student like I can do that. I am a college student, so it's okay. So that's about it for this video, guys. I'm spending the rest of my day uh, reading up on syllabuses, syllabot, syllabuses, syllabi, syllabi. I gotta start reading some chapters and stuff and get ready for class tomorrow. So that's exciting. So yeah, not much else going on today. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you like it, and not because I tell you. Thanks to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, the box below. I appreciate you being here, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!